Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture series of engineering graphics and design. Myself Ankur Patel and today we are going to learn projection of solids. So in this first session of projection of solid we will go through the basic concepts of projection of solids. So let's start with the classifications of the solids. So solids are classified into polyhedra solids of revolution, frustum of solids and truncated solids prism pyramid cube and tetrahedron are polyhedra whereas cylinder cone and sphere are the solids of revolution now let us first of all discuss what are frustum of solids and truncated solid so if the pyramid or cone is cut by a cutting plane parallel to its base and if we remove the upper part of the solid then the remaining part of the solid is known as the frustum of solid and what are truncated solid? So the solid is cut by a cutting plane, inclined to its base. And if we remove the part of the solid or section part of the solid, then the remaining part is known as the truncated solid. Now let us discuss about the polyhedra and solids of revolution. So what are polyhedra? So polyhedra are the solids bounded by plane surfaces. So if the solids which are bounded by plane surfaces are known as polyhedra and solids of revolution the solids which are generated by revolving a plane surface about a fixed state edge are known as the solids of revolution prism pyramids uh, cube and tetrahedron are polyhedra whereas cone cylinder and sphere are the solids of revolution so now let us discuss prisms so what is prism Prism is defined as a solid which has two identical bases parallel to each other and bounded by rectangular plane surfaces like square prism, hexagonal prism, pentagonal prism. Here you can see that the prism is bounded by rectangular faces and is it has two identical bases, top base and base, top face and base, top face and base. So if two identical bases of the prism are square plane then the prism is known as the square prism and if the two identical bases of the prism are the hexagonal plane then the prism is known as the hexagonal prism if the two identical bases of the prism are pentagonal plane then the prism is known as the pentagonal prism now let us discuss the dimensional parameters of the prism showing it in the square prism so this will be the base of the prism so this will be our top face or top this will be our base edge of the prism then this will be our top face edge of the prism this will be the base corner right now this is the square prism so in the square prism we have total four base corners and four base edge uh, four top corner and four top edge so this is our top corners and these are our top edge and this will be our longer edge or we can also say that side edge and this will be our rectangular face or side face this will be our top face center and this will be the base center and the line or imaginary line connecting the top face center and base center are known as the axis of the prism now let us discuss about the pyramids so pyramid is defined as a solid having plane figure as base and number of triangular faces meeting at a point known as the vertex or apex the imaginary line joining the vertex to the center of the base are known as the axis of the pyramid like a triangular pyramid square pyramid hexagonal pyramid pentagonal pyramid so if the base of the pyramid is equilateral triangle then the pyramid is known as the triangular pyramid if the base of the pyramid is a square then the pyramid is known as the square pyramid if the base of the pyramid is a pentagon or pentagonal plane then the pyramid is known as the pentagonal pyramid and if the base of the pyramid is a hexagonal plane then the pyramid is known as the 
hexagonal pyramid now let us discuss the dimensional parameters of the pyramid showing it in the square pyramid so this will be our base this will be our base edge this will be our base corner this will be our slant face or triangular face this will be our slant edge this will be our apex point and an imaginary line joining the apex point and center of the base is known as the axis of the pyramid now let us discuss about the cube so what is cube so cube is defined as a solid bounded by six square surfaces so uh, cube is a solid bounded by six square surfaces so here in this figure you can see that the, this cube is bounded by six square planes or six square surfaces now what is tetrahedron so tetrahedron is defined as a solid bounded by four equilateral triangular surfaces so tetrahedron is a solid bounded by four equilateral triangular faces so here in this figure you can see that the tetrahedron is bounded by four equilateral triangular faces now let us discuss about the cylinder so what is cylinder so cylinder is defined as a solid generated by revolving a rectangular plane surface about one of its side which remains fixed it has two identical circular bases so cylinder is a solid generated by revolving a rectangular plane surfaces by fixing one of the edge of the rectangle and cylinder has two identical circular bases this is a top face and this will be our base now let us discuss the dimensional parameter of the cylinder so these are the generators of the cylinder and generators are the imaginary line generating the curved surface of the cylinder this will be our base this will be our top face and a line connecting the top face center and base center are known as the axis of the cylinder so these are the dimensional parameters of the cylinder now let us discuss about the cone so what is cone so if a right angle triangular plane surface is revolved about its straight vertical edge then the generated solid is known as a cone and the imaginary line joining its apex to the center of the base is known as the axis of the cone so the cone is a solid generated by revolving a right angle triangular plane about its straight vertical edge and the line joining the apex point and the center of the base are known as the axis of the cone so this is the base of the cone this is the axis of the cone joining the apex point and the center of the base these are the generators of the cone and generators are the imaginary line generating the curved surface of the cone and this will be the apex point of the cone so these are the dimensional parameters of the cone now let us discuss about the sphere so what is sphere so if a semicircle is revolved about a straight edge then generated solid is known as the sphere so sphere is a solid generated by revolving a semicircle about a straight edge now let us discuss the different positions of cone with hpn vp so here we are going to observe the front view of the cone at different positions with horizontal plane and vertical plane so if you are observing the front view of the cone then the xy line will be our horizontal plane so while observing the front view xy line represents the horizontal plane so let us see the first position in which the solid is standing on hp on its base so right now the solid is standing on hp on its base so base will be parallel to the horizontal plane so right now you can see that the base is parallel to x y line that means it is parallel to the horizontal plane and it is perpendicular to the vertical plane and right now you can see that the axes are perpendicular to the x y line that means the axes are perpendicular to the horizontal plane 
and axes are parallel to the vertical plane. So this position represents the solid standing on HP on its base with axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP and base parallel to HP perpendicular to VP. Now let us see the second position in which the solid is resting on HP on one point of its base circle. So right now the solid is resting on one point of its base circle and right now you can see that the base of the solid is inclined to the horizontal plane and it is perpendicular to the vertical plane and axes are parallel to vertical plane and inclined to the horizontal plane. So right now this position represents the axis inclined to HP and parallel to VP and right now this uh, cone is resting on HP on one of the point of its base circle. Now let us see the third position. So right now the solid is lying on one of the or cone is lying on one of the generator on the horizontal plane. So this position represents the con lying on HP on one of its generator. So here you can see that right now the base is inclined to the XY line that means base is inclined to the horizontal plane and it is perpendicular to the vertical plane and you can see that the axes are inclined to the XY line that means axes are inclined to the horizontal plane and axes are parallel to the vertical plane. So this position of the this position of the cone represents the cone lying on HP on one of the generator with axis inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Now let us see the position of the cone with the vertical plane. So if we will take the position of the cone with the vertical plane, we will observe the top view. So if we will observe the top view, then XY line will represent the vertical plane. So this po first position shows the a uh, con standing on VP on its base with axis perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. So right now axes are perpendicular to the XY line that means the axes are perpendicular to VP and axes are parallel to the horizontal plane. And right now you can see that base is parallel to the XY line that means the base is parallel to the vertical plane and it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. Now let us see the second position and this will be our top view. So second position, so this second position will represent the con resting on VP on one point of its base circle. So right now you can see that the base is inclined to the XY line. That means the base is inclined to the vertical plane and it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. And here you can see that the axes are inclined to the XY line. That means the axes are inclined to the vertical plane and axes are parallel to the horizontal plane plane. Now let us see the third position in which the cone is lying on VP on one of the generator. So right now the one generator of the cone is on XY line. That means the generator is on the vertical plane. And you can see that the base of the cone is inclined to the XY line. That means it is inclined to the vertical plane and is perpendicular to the horizontal plane. And axes are inclined to the XY line. That means axes are inclined to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane. Now let us see the steps to solve the problems of the solids. So sol uh, problems of the solids are solved in three different steps. So how can we derive the three different steps of the solids? Now let us see how can we derive the first step. So in the first step we have to assume the solid standing on the plane with which it is making inclination. So if it is inclined to HP, assume it standing on HP and if the solid is inclined to VP, assume it standing on VP. So if we have assumed a solid standing on HP, its top view will be the true shape of its base or top face. And if we have assumed that the solid standing on VP, its front view will be the true shape of its base or top face. So we have to begin with drawing the true shape in the top view or front view and its other view will be a rectangle if the solid is cylinder or one of the prisms or it will be a triangle if a solid is cone or one of the pyramid. So draw the front view and top view of the solid in the standing position. Then after in the second step we have to draw its front view and top view considering the solid's inclination that means considering the position of the axis or inclination of the axis. And in the third step, 
we have to draw the final front view and top view considering the remaining inclinations of the solid so this is it for today we will discuss problems of projection of solids in our next lecture by applying all these rules that we have discussed today so thank you for watching see you in the next lecture till then take care